Welcome to another quick tutorial in Cinema 4D. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to shade your glass. For that, we will need a window, a plane, a sky, and a bullet. So I create a window out of a cube. I add a plane. Make sure the window is not touching the plane. And then you can animate or download a bullet. I have here a bullet animated okay and I have a sky with hash jewelry texture and with a composition tag and unchecked scene by camera to not be able to see it okay so for the shader we'll need to go to MoGraph and add Voronoi fracture and drag the drag the window inside of the Voronoi okay we need to check hollow object and optimize holes go to point generator and first we need to check exponential and check here the minus here we need to select 175 and here we need to add the rotation 45 degrees okay we need to add here like 0.12 0.23 okay now we need to create another point generator go here and add like 300 points you can add more for um, more quality but I'm adding just 300 because I don't have a great computer so here we have to resize it and I'm gonna make that 0.05 and here 0.1 make sure it is in the middle I'm gonna make here like one okay we need to create another distribution so we go here let it uniform I'm gonna add like 75 I'm gonna check high quality and again 45 degrees and the size is gonna be 0 0.4 so here 0 0.4 and 6 maybe 0 0.6 something small like this okay now we have our Voronoi fracture done we need to go to MoGraph and MoGraph weight paintbrush and we need to paint all the dots that we don't want to shatter so on the strength click here if you don't have this click on here and drag the strength and the radius if you want bigger radius okay so we need to paint these dots okay the painted dots are the one that will not shatter so the yellow ones are staying in the place the red one are gonna explode if they are not touched so here we can go to action and the strength make the strength to half and we can paint a bit around this as you can see there is also orange Okay. okay perfect now we need to go to Voronoi fracture connectors create fixed connector and drag your MoGraph weight map here to the breaking weight 
perfect now go to burn fracture simulation tag and add rigid body select second level and apply tag to children let go to dynamic on collision collision automatic and here the size you can play with, with the size for a bigger explosion or a small explosion i'm gonna go with 0.125 i'm gonna uncheck the bounce friction and collision noise okay i'm gonna go to the plane and simulation tag and i'm gonna add a collider the same for the bullet simulation collider okay now for the texture wait first let's finish with this so yeah if you're gonna press play now yeah we have our shader glass so now for the texture as you can see the glass is shattered so now for the texture we need our um, glass texture i have one here i'm gonna duplicate one is inside and i'm gonna rename the other one outside drag them both to the Voronoi fracture now go to Voronoi fracture selections inside check on inside and outside now go to the texture the outside texture and drag the outside polygon go to inside texture and drag the inside folder now go to the inside texture to check alpha uncheck image alpha and to effects ambient inclusion the ambient occlusion is gonna be like this so drag the black here over the white and it's gonna be like this wait and uh, yeah it's done now if you're gonna render we'll have our glass shader uh, i hope you enjoy it